Okay, using trig functions on your TI Inspire Cast CX. This is actually really easy. I'm going to try to keep the video short for you. Um, I guess the first thing I want to tell you is this. It's really easy to just, but remember when you're using trig functions, you can do them in one of two measurements, and you can do them in radian measures or degree measures. So you have to be very certain of, of where you are. So what I would do is this. So I'm just going to go here to calculator, and I'm going to ask my calculator. First, I'm going to try um, sine of 30 degrees. So I'm going to take sine of 30. And it comes back, sine of 30 is equal to sine of 30. It makes me think that it's not in, that our, my calculator is not in degrees. Because I know that sine of 30 degrees is one half. So what I'm going to do is this little test to see if it's in radians. So I'm going to say, what is sine of, you can do it one of two ways, sine of pi sixths. So pi sixths is 30 degrees in radian measure. And it comes back one half. So that has convinced me that my calculator is set in radian measure. The other way you could test is you could take cosine of pi thirds and another way to do pi, I just wrote it as, when I did it here I did is the word pi, but another way to do it is just go to this key down here that has the pi symbol on it and choose one of these symbols. The one I want is pi divided by 6 and if it comes back one half I can be relatively sure that I'm in radian measure. Whoa! Oh, because I wanted sine of pi sixth. But just having said that, that's kind of cool that it, it came back that clean in the same way it went on the thing. I wanted sine of pi sixth. That was the test I was doing, so I just want to prove to you guys what test I was doing. Sine of pi sixth is one half. It's cool that it didn't come back here as a number. Uh, sometimes what the calculator will do is if you have something like cosine of something, if it doesn't, if it can't come up with a really clean answer, it will rewrite the question as the question as the answer so if I say what's sine of 45 and it doesn't know what sine of 45 is in a clean number just come back with sine of 45 is sine of 45 um, please keep in mind that this is in I believe the calculator is in radian measure so what I'm going to do is this I'm going to go to the home screen I'm going to go to settings so all I did was go to home went to settings I want to go to document settings and lo and behold, I look at it, it says angle. What is how are we measuring our angles? We're measuring them in radians. What I could do here is just so I could get down to here, and I could click into degrees, and I could switch it into into degrees. So that's one thing you can do. So hopefully you made a note of that. Make sure that your calculator is measuring in the way that you want it to measure. So if you're using degrees, make sure it's in degrees. If you're using radians, make sure you go back to the again home screen to settings and then set it in degrees or radians. All right, let's go back to this really quickly. I think we're doing fine. I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know, I'm not I'm gonna insert, I'm gonna hit, uh, if you don't want a new document, you can just hit control, and you can hit page, a new page and hit calculate, and keep you in the same document, it doesn't really matter. So here's the next thing. So the guy who sent me this question asked me how does he use these trig functions. So the other way to do that, and I'm not trying to be a smart ass about it, is it says trig right here. And you could just choose that. And this is in these are in the inverse functions here. Um, so here's sine. So if I wanted to take sine, type it like that and put in the number that I wanted. Please remember if you try to type in S I N, check this out again. S I, I'm gonna type in sine. The calculator has everything in italics. Once your calculator recognizes it as a command, italics go to standard print, so if you notice that, if I type sign here, it goes back to italics, which means the calculator does not understand what you're asking it to do. All right? So, look, you guys, I hope this was really helpful to you. Um, if you have other questions about how to use the uh, TI Inspire Cast CX, please let me know, and I'll do my best. And if you have better answers than I have, share them. That's cool. Thank you very much. If you've already subscribed, thank you. If not, please subscribe now. Your comments are always welcome. Oh, look, my battery's almost dead. And oh, no, it's full.